hello and how are you welcome to our other video of learning how to create web applications using php my name is mahinom burke and in today's video i'm going to teach you how we can design entity relationship diagrams so in the previous two videos we are also looking at the same topic and uh, this is going to be our final uh, designing of an entity relationship diagrams diagram and today we're going to look at how we can uh, design an e-commerce ERD. So with that much said, I will hope that you're already familiar with Lucid charts and you're already familiar with uh, designing uh, ERDs. If you're not, then I would recommend you to watch our previous two videos so that you can be on the same page with us. So with that much said, let's go straight into business. So as you can see, I've already logged into my Lucid charts account and uh, i've already created a new document where i'm going to design my ards so before we start designing first of all we need to first have an idea and the idea is to design an e-commerce uh, web application database or ERD. so let us first after doing after knowing the idea so the next thing is to determine the tables or the entities that you're going to have in your what in your ERD. So to do that, I'm just going to create another empty note, and uh, from the, on that in that note is where I'm going to put uh, my tables or the tables that I'm going to have in this uh, music applic. I mean uh, e-commerce application. So just go ahead and give it the title e-commerce app. Okay. So let me increase the font so you can see clearly. So let us go ahead and start determining the tables that we'll need in this e-commerce of in this e-commerce application of course the first thing to to put in our table is going to be users because uh, this application will be used by what by users so we're going to put here an entity called users so users is going to be just a basic account uh for everyone just to provide the name, the email, and the username and password for what? For any user. So, but realize that uh, when we are recording customers, uh, we may need some extra information like their addresses, their phone numbers, and maybe some more information about the customers. Now it means that uh, that is beyond the user. Not every user will, we will need their addresses. So it means that we'll need to create another table that is going to extend this uh, user's table or this user's entity and it's going to be separate since we will not have any user to have the customer related information so we'll create another entity called customers okay customers and this one is the one that's going to have extra information about customers so after having customers so the next thing that we're going to create now is now the product itself okay um a bit fast because i already know them but if it's your first time to design of course you may need first think uh carefully or critically in order to come up with the entities that you need to include in your particular project or in your projects so for me because i always play with these every day that's why i already know them so the next thing that you have to do is uh products so i'll just have to add products so products is a table or an entity that will be handling uh information about the real or physical product themselves okay so uh we may need also products category product category before we even have the product because a product you need to lie under a specific category so you can put your products categories like this okay so after having products categories and products so the next thing is going to be uh the orders okay i think now the orders okay so orders orders this will be made by what by the order that will be made by order by customers so an order will be just a main thing for example the person the his name his address and the, the the amount the total amount that he has to pay but this order will have items remember one order a person can order uh, a computer he can order a phone he can order um, a remote uh, maybe <laughs> he can order a charger like three items all of them in one single order 
so we may not be able to record all these one in the same one in the same order otherwise we can have some repetition so what we do we we'll need another table that will uh, be independent i mean that, that that will contain the order items so let's go ahead and create that entity what we're going to call order items and it's the one that is going to be storing the information on items that are have been added to order so after having that now the next thing is now to design the table i hope that those are the information that we need about what about uh, about uh, an entity relationship diagram of what of an e-commerce uh, database so the next thing is what is now to design the the, the the database itself or the erg otherwise if you have your own that you think you may need it's okay you can go ahead and add them because uh this is all about someone's understanding no one can be wrong no one can be correct so everyone is correct everyone is wrong in some or the other so you can go ahead and think of more tables that you can add in here for example you can add a table of addresses separate also something like that but basically these are the information that you may need to uh these are the entities that you may need to have in your what in your e-commerce web application so the next thing is now to do what is now to create these entities so i'll come to my uh to my to my diagram work workplace workspace and then there i'm going to start creating a what another entity diagram so if you don't have these shapes here you can just simply come here and say shape library and search here erd and from there you can say use and then they'll be added to here where you can now start creating what independent tables so for me i'm already having them there so what i'll do i can just simply come and copy one of the tables here and i reuse it so i'll paste there so the first thing is the users so i'll go ahead and change the id of this table and call it what i mean the, the title of this table and call it users okay users okay so the user will have an id will have uh the name uh will have you can of course record the first name of the user let us just record uh username uh -huh, the user will have the password and we'll record the day when the user uh, created this account so we may not record all the information about the user but we may just record this one so you can even record only the email of one about the user the email of the user the password and the what the date when they create this account you can go ahead and add maybe their name since just a user so i can just simply increase the name in more field here and add the name of the user here so we now have the table of users designed there so the next thing is now to design the table of customers because the customers table will extend the users table so let me go ahead and do that and put here customers so these customers will reference a what a user id so i'm going to put here user underscore id and this customer will have a first name and the customer so this is going to be a friend key a uh, customer will have first name customer oh, what is this? okay customer will have first underscore name customer will have first name okay customer will have last name customer will have address uh, maybe phone number first phone underscore number aha uh -huh. customer will have um phone number is there the next that the customer will have is um, address then you can increase uh, something down here 
okay so the next thing that customer will have uh we have the address the next thing you will have is the uh, uh the what what else shall we need about the customer i think that's information that you mean that information is enough for us to record the customer maybe we have not connected this this customer to user id so put user underscore id and then make sure that you rename this table to customers okay customers so after having that so the next thing that we're going to do now is uh to create the what to create now uh the product categories because each product will belong to certain what category so let's go ahead and copy the table and create a product category here so we'll have here categories okay or product categories so we'll have the name of the product category and then we'll have its details then we'll have its photo and then we'll have maybe if it has a parent okay because some par some product can have some parents eh? like uh you can have a section of uh, women products and under women products you can have makeup you can have dresses you can have different categories and under the men you can have different categories under electronics you can have different categories so to reference that you can have this one as what as a parent and the parent is going to be the friend key to its uh, category itself so i'm going to put here parent id something like that okay so this one is going to be referencing itself because a parent will also be what a foreign key i mean will also be a category a product category so after doing that the next thing we'll have to create now the products table itself so i'll come and copy this and then paste it here and i'm going to call this one products table i can just call it product not products table so the product will have a name i mean we'll have an id the next thing will have a name the next thing will have details and the next thing will have photos so since product can have many photos so it will be better again create a, a special what a special table for photos so that one product can have many photos but for now i'll keep it simple i'll just put one product to have only one photo so uh, after having that uh, product will have category id category underscore id because this product is going to reference a what a category so after doing that let me go ahead and add some fields uh this product can have also uh the price i forgot to put that we'll have the price and then another thing this product will have a person who uploaded it it's going to be also a foreign key and then you can put it a what uh, customer i mean user id user underscore id so meaning that this product can be uploaded by another by a person so that's it now the next thing is to uh is to create another table so this product's table is done and i hope you're understanding the concepts so after having those tables let's create another one a table of orders so when a customer buys something we'll have to uh, create what an order so an order is going to be just kind of grouping of order what of order items into a single thing so from here it's so going to have something called uh orders so i'll copy one of the tables here and paste it here and then i'll call this one orders then we'll have id of an order name i mean sorry not name let me first remove these columns they should not confuse us okay let me remove from here okay so we'll have the orders so this order will belong to what to a customer okay but since a customer must have a user id so you better relate this one to user id or you can just still relate it to what to customer id customer id meaning that to place an order you must first have a customer account so this is going to be 
a foreign key so after doing that uh, now this order will have total price uh -huh. and then maybe uh, what else shall we can we need in an order uh, because the delivery you will have the delivery address but the uh, customer already has an address so here we just have a specific one that the customer will use when they are placing their order i have love the address the, for delivery so what else maybe you can also have a what a note uh, order note or what the user can add in case when they want to specify something in their order so basically Mm, okay maybe also the order status that is very important thing to see whether the order has been uh, in which status it is okay order underscore status so this status can also be another table where we can have now the pending and uh, uh, approved and under shipping such a things okay so but for us to keep it simple this will be just updating from one column okay so that's once that's the column i mean that's the table of orders so the next thing now is to create the order items eh? because this order will have many items or the item that will belong to it okay so I'll duplicate this order and paste it here so the order item will just rip literally mean will belong to what to an order so we're going to have order underscore id okay also here then we have we need one more column for when the order was created order underscore items uh -huh. so we'll have the id of this itself and then after that we'll have now the order id because this one will be refreshing what an order so the next thing after the order id the next thing you'll have a friend key here again and this friend key will now reference the what the product the product okay so here i'll be referencing the product so sometimes we may give discount and uh, this discount is only uh the, the price will be reflecting only on this order items so because product item may do what may change so we can put now the price of uh, this product at this point because in case the product item changes this price will be static uh from the time when this person added this product in what in cut so we can remove the remaining columns okay so now we have we now have the order items okay so after doing that now we're going to relate uh these tables okay i think all our tables are now listed so now we're going to relate the tables eh? so to do that uh we'll just simply come to we'll look at the tables which have foreign key so this first table of, uh, of what of uh, customers this user will have a friend key meaning that uh, this will depend on user so it is one user will have one account okay so it's going to be one two one so as we draw here let us one customer will have one user account eh? one customer will have one user account so we're going to change this and make it one to one not one to many one customer one user account so let's go ahead and do that by clicking that and then come and click at the end eh? the end and change this one to one so you can see one user will have one particular account can even give this name or what a name it, uh, this column you can give this relationship you can give it a name by typing there so let's go ahead and look at other friend key here so the friend key here is a category so category it is, has a parent id so to do this this is going to be refreshing itself just in case a category has what has a primary key so to do this we're just going to have and it like this no it's going to be one product one category can have many uh subcategories okay so that's what it means one category can have many subcategories okay so 
a parent will be a category and the subcategory or the child will also be a category so that's what it means eh? one parent can have many subcategories so after doing that the next thing is going to be uh referencing the orders uh, before go to the referencing the order let's go and reference the products so it will bring the products table here now the first reference is going to be the category because the product will belong to a certain category so we're going to begin here by saying one category will have many what many products that is true so one can, many products can belong to one category so that's how we can really uh, we can write that relationship one category many products uh-huh so the next thing is going to be the column of users um we can now go ahead and it's going to come from far and bring it one user can have or can upload many products like this increase its width and we arrange it by moving it behind here like this okay so one user can have many what many products uploaded which is true and we can relate it like that so uh now the last the other thing is now the order now okay the order so one order can be i mean can belong i mean one customer can make many orders so we're going to come here and move this one to this friend key like this meaning that one customer can have many orders that is true and that's how it's written okay after doing that then uh, we're going now to have other items related being related to what to orders so one order one order i mean one od one order can have many items eh? can have many other items okay as we discussed so i'm just going to come here and say this order id is going to have many other items here okay so i hope you're understanding that so after that the next thing is now to uh now to relate this pro order to what to product then lastly i'm going to say one product one product can be too many orders yes no one product will belong to one order item okay in fact here you so saw can put also the quantities eh? i forgot to put the quantity uh quantity q t y quantity so this item is done that will be even recording the what the quantity we can also put the discount on that same thing so one product will uh, be once only in a what in a specific order so it's going to be one to one oh it's going to be one product can be many other items so we're going to go ahead and do like this one or product can be in many other items so you can go ahead and increase the weight of this one and that's how the tables are related to each other it's really beautiful so you can see how the tables are related to each other we can go through them whereby we begin with what with the users and the user can upload a what a product a product can belong to a, cate to a category and the category can have a parent and a child and this relationship is done like this then uh we have now customers a customer is just an extension of what is an extension of uh user's account because a customer can also log in so why do you have customers separate because customers can have extra information yet basic users like maybe the owner of the of, of the system may not have in may not need that extra information so to avoid redundancy of data we created a separate table for customers to extend the user's table then you have orders these orders so one customer can place so many orders and one order can have so many items and the other item will just ref reference the order particular order and the product that a person has placed and then we can have now the price and the quantities in the order items table so that is our uh, the relationship of uh, entities in an e-commerce uh, application so i hope you're watching as you're practicing so let's go ahead and export this erd and include it in our 
in our project and we share it in, our, in the github so that you can be able to exp to look at it also so to do that i'll just simply come to file and then come to file and then come to what to export file and then oh, i'm clicking on the wrong file <laughs> okay file with the browser file export and from here we can say pdf and then we're going to crop to specific uh thing that we need so i'll just drag this one down and move it here and move it here like this like this like this okay there we go so let's go ahead and crop that crop it ah then we have a specific section let's go ahead and download it to be generated and then it's ready so i'm going to call it uh pro i mean e commerce erd so i'm going to add it to, my, to the github of uh, this project so this is the folder where we are putting all our github repositories i mean the repositories the, the repository information and where is the file that i've just downloaded it is this one e-commerce ARD. this one so i'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop it here okay so after doing that i'm going to push it to my github so i can just say e-commerce erd pdf added okay commit that and push it so if you want to get this information all these pieces of code and and all my pieces of code and um, and uh, this erd that i've been designing just uh come to my github by just going to github github.com and put stroke mubahood like this and then from there you can come to my repositories eh? you can come to my repositories by clicking to repositories and you'll see public repositories that i have among those public repositories that i have is this one learn php from zero to hero click on that one and then you'll be able to get all the source code that i've been working with including the erd diagram that i've just added right now so that's it for today i hope it was helpful and if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel make sure that you subscribe right now and there's those three examples and explanations i believe they're enough for you to get started with um, entity relationship diagrams for your respective projects so in the next class we are going now to start um, creating uh, uh, projects or real world project because we have looked at html we have looked at bootstrap and css we have looked at uh, how to we have got introduced to php itself we have got introduced to how to create to we have got introduced to sqls and uh, we have got introduced on how to design databases or database entry relationship diagrams so in the next video i'm just going to teach you how we can connect php with my sql okay so that we can be able to get the data from php and save it to my sql database then after that we'll go ahead and now start making uh real world application or real world projects so that's it for today and uh, i hope you'll not miss in the next videos we are going to learn more of how to make web application goodbye see you in the next video